A few weeks ago, I published a video showing you how easy it was for me to access control the shed you see behind me utilizing an AC12 single door controller, maglock, Rex button, DPI, a small camera for context, and a cellular gateway to provide connectivity. Now, there's one thing I didn't show in that video because at that time it wasn't actually an officially released product, and you might see it here. For those of you who are familiar already with our AD series ranges, you must be thinking, wow, that's a strange looking reader. And you are correct to say so, because as opposed to our previous series, this is much longer and thinner. This is the AD34 and should be available to order as you see this video. So what's really special about it? There are lots of things that have been uh, happening behind the scenes to make sure that the regular card scans can happen much faster and also that the range of scanning is also increased. However, that's not the only thing. This is not a Jedi trick. This is me opening the door by just waving at it. Now, don't get me wrong. I still need my mobile phone and the Verkada Pass app to get in range of the Bluetooth radio. However, the door will not unlock unless I specifically show my intent. In this case, a simple wave. This is quite a requested feature because beforehand, if you didn't set up the range correctly, you might be in a position which just by walking on a hallway, you'll just unlock doors left and right. And even sometimes you might be behind it, but still, because of the Bluetooth antenna being omnidirectional, it will still pick you up and it will still unlock the door. And now, although my phone is in range of the reader itself, I need to explicitly signal my intent of entering this door by waving at it. That's not all. Let me go inside the phone and kill off my Bluetooth functionality. Let's imagine this is a highly secure door. Maybe it's your comms room and you're concerned that although you'd like to use Bluetooth and you'd like to use your phone, somebody might actually pick it up where you're not aware and just go through the door. So now Verkada is actually introducing the ability to get your physical security card as part of your Apple wallet. So all I need to do is unlock my wallet with my face and here is the Verkada card presented neatly. I'm still using my phone, but remember, I'll have to authenticate before pulling up the card. Now, there are two options with this. You can actually set the door in a way that the phone doesn't need to be unlocked. You just need to present the phone. And you might be using this in case, for a reason, you do not want to use the Verkada Pass app. However, I see that most of the applications will be towards the two-factor authentication. I do have an extra surprise for you because it's not just the AD34 that is supporting Apple Pay. It is also the AD33 because hidden inside it and not really publicized before now is that the AD33 already has the hardware capability to do this. If you're already using the 31 or 32 and you are very interested by either the Wave to Unlock or Apple Pay, I suggest you get in touch to upgrade your readers remember they don't really have a license so you're not looking at a big cost last thing to note is that apple does charge for this functionality so if you want to use this function you'll need to first of all agree to the t's and c's and secondly you'll need to purchase additional licenses in bundles of 20 users each as always if you have any questions do drop them in the comments and I'll come back to you as soon as I can.